What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Vikings season 2 episode 8. I will try not to dry heave. So speaking of mm -hmm. day after how you feeling about the blood eagle? It was nasty. It was real real nasty. I haven't got to talk to anybody about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah. what a punishment, huh? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh... But I mean, you know, he didn't scream. He no. didn't make a fucking noise. Got it. It was. It was a little shocking. We didn't. We didn't give any props to Jarlborg. I did for pulling that off. Because I... that is some impressive shit. How? How? Like, how? Yeah, I, that's how can you? That dude earned his spot in in like, Valhalla. Like, uh, did you? How do you? <laughs> you? All your nerves, all of your nerves and pain receptors. How? I would imagine that you would go into shock fairly quickly. <laughs> uh, but oh god, this just, is so crazy. But you know, still, even now, I'm just like, cause I feel like stuff down my back. I'm like, oh god, don't even. Uh. Yep, we're good. I mean, regardless of what you feel about the dude, there are a lot of people who liked him because, like, he, people feel he didn't do a lot wrong. He was just acting like he should. Um, well, he pitted but, two brothers against each well, other. That, but, like, just just don't mess with my dude. Don't mess with my dude, Ragnar Lothbrok. Don't mess with him. Otherwise, you're going to get blood-eagled. Mess with the bull. Message the sent. I Del hope everyone delivered. receives. Yeah, just that that shit is just that was one of the more insane things in terms of a punishment, torture, whatever you want to call it. Like the, just the way, just going into it, it was like, oh, what's a blood eagle? Like that sounds interesting. And then hearing him describe it when he's in his bath, I was just like, oh. That Dude, sounds like, I, amazing. Watching this show, my back is always going to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, forever. Legit. Like, I... Like, literally, do you, do you not, like, get the sense of, like, something down your back? Because he has to slice down his back. Yeah. Peel his skin away. Break every single... How many ribs you got? Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, I don't yeah. keep count. <laughs> but, like, break every single rib... Open the ribs because they don't just yeah. flop out. I mean, unless I like unless the way Ragnar played it. Just yeah, I I I am not aware. It's never happened to me. Yeah, I don't know anybody that it's happened to. Never seen it in real life. Pretty insane. And then take your lungs. I mean, there's muscle and shit. Yeah, you gotta take them and put Blech. them on the shoulder. Blech. That's so just that the was. Thought is, I mean, that was, I know this is just a show, but. <laughs> ah, well, it happened in real life. I, I know, based on real events, but Jesus. So that was a pretty spectacular moment, just regardless of how you personally handled it. Just, it was very, very. It was treated very much like a ceremony, which was pretty crazy. Yes, um, with the whole getup. Yeah, we got to see two weddings as well, speaking of ceremonies and celebrations um we got to see a viking wedding and we got to see a christian wedding kind of happening at the same time which is well, be it's pa pagan and christian oh right yo i mean it's, it's cool to see the two cultures compared side by side as they're playing out and this whole like floki storyline i don't like where it's going now because he he revealed his hands at least to us the audience and siggy knows but the idea that he's upset with Ragnar because you could probably count five different reasons why he might be upset with Ragnar between him doing all the work, maybe not feeling appreciated, forgiving Rolo because they had a little bit of a beef, uh, the whole Athelstan situation could have just, like, their relationship upset him. It feels like there's a handful of things that could potentially upset Floki in terms yeah. of the way Ragnar's handling things. And I don't want that guy on my bad side. No, 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 no. He's a little too unstable. Yeah, he and he calls himself a joker. And he even, like, even when, when Siggy came up to him and was like, can you keep a secret? He's like, no. Like, no, he's honest. He is, I, think what you, I think the way you described him just now is perfect. And I, I don't like that he's upset with Ragnar. Because it feels like Ragnar's got a lot of... Uh, 
unsettling situations going on now. Yeah. You know, his wife is talking about giving birth to a monster. Like, that doesn't sound cool at all. No. Is she literally going to give birth to something that isn't natural? Right. Like, is it going to be literally something that's not human? I'm thinking very Twilight, very Edward and Bella. With the, with the way she is, I, I wouldn't put it past anything at this point in terms of what Where she might like be capable of. Half this and half like, that. And she, it's like... She's ah. clearly not normal. Like, she's got powers. She's got abilities and connections with the gods that maybe others do not. So that's one scenario. We've got these two English kings who have now joined forces to beat Ragnar. And it's like... You're not gonna beat Ragnar, that, dude. But that just makes their next trip to England even more challenging, which is something I've been talking about since the day they started going there. Mm -hmm. Every trip they take there, it's going to be worse and worse, especially if, if Ragnar and company continue to succeed because the English aren't just going to sit around and be like, oh, we'll just deal with him with what we got. Like, no, they're going to continue to try to expand because they don't want these folks coming into their land and taking it over. So every time it's going to get worse, I feel like, and now, with these two kings joining forces, I am very nervous for their next raid to England. I'm very fascinated to see how it plays out and what kind of forces now Ragnar is showing up with. Because Lagatha, Earl, excuse me, Earl Lagatha yes. showed up with, she said she has like 100 warriors, she's got four ships, she is now one of Ragnar's equals. What a twist. So awesome. I love it so much. I, that was that was so dope that she was able to kill her stupid, dumbass husband and then take over the Earl spot. Fuck yeah, So man. cool. Yep. And just his reaction when it was her that came out, he was like, he his mannerisms. And, He's and hilarious. Just, he is great. Yes. Like his facial expressions and like everything that he is sending out in terms of like body language uh -huh. is hilarious sometimes. Yes. I agree. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different storylines all connecting to Ragnar, and I don't feel comfortable with any of them. But here we are. We got a couple more episodes in this season. Are you ready to jump into this episode? Just one thing. I'm missing <gasps> nail polish on one finger. I know. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I was watching a movie today. Got a little involved. It came off. Just oh, when someone gave I, you props on your nails in this, did. yeah. Oh. Always on point. Not they today. They are normally on point. I didn't have time to, to do it before <laughs> we started to sit down. How dare you? I know. Are you going to be able to get through this episode? Just, there you go. Uh -oh. Well, that's a Sufi. No, yeah. don't worry that. <laughs> you ready to jump into it? Yeah. Well, let's go. Uh-oh. They all look worried. If you've had that many kids, I mean, by the time you get to that child, Childbirth should be slightly easier, but shit, that don't look easy at all. I mean, no matter what, it hurts, but gosh darn. Ragnar does not look good. It's a boy. Good God. Another boy. Aw, baby. He doesn't look Gosh, like Gosh darn, monster. they're so cute, though. Is she okay? Gosh darn, how do they sew that up? I have to return to my territories. I have to prepare my ships. It will take some time. How much time? Just enough time. No more, no less, King Wife. You tell him. Your father has a new child. Son? Yes. There's never a bad day to have a son. Does she give in to Bjorn? Who are you? <laughs> she noticed. She is a servant. And I'm in love with her. <laughs> Aw, look at this. She got a smirk. I saw a smirk. Oh! Yikes, jeez. You would have did that in the delivery room. Oh, God. That fool just went in with his teeth. What happened? She... What? The prophecy was right. What happened? 
Baby looked fine to me. I didn't see. Don't be too long. Easy there, tough guy. The three of us are equals. We need each other. But one cannot be more equal than the other. You mean Ragnar? You and I are at least as equal. And Ragnar must come to understand this. I agree. I don't like this King Horror. No, not at all. It would have been a lot more fun to watch him get, you know, blood eagled. Dude, six pack much? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Fucking Rolo, man. Always remember to finish off your opponents if you can. No man ever ran away with his entrails hanging to his knees or his head cut off. Your mother is an amazing Oh, woman. wait. What? I know. He's not hurt then? You were in love with her once. What Don't the, the hell? God's love. Was he just that? What? Huh? Is that just a dramatic thing? How come you know so much about the gods? As my father, you and I. Are all descended from Odin. Or is that not true, Uncle? He will die anyway. What is the point of pretending? We were wolves or even pigs. This poor weak runt would be discarded. We are not wolves or pigs. Aww. What kind of life could he live? I know, but I don't care. Who's coming? Quintrith, the daughter of Ovin. Quintrith killed her brother, Ovin's natural heir. King Edward doesn't want to get involved with such terrible squabbles. My father has no interest whatsoever in what happens in our neighboring kingdom, which just so happens to be the largest, most important, and richest kingdom in England. Welcome, princess. Hmm. What is he going to do? No. No. No, you're not really going to do that. Aww. There's no other way. Are you kidding me right now? No other way, my son. What is he doing? No! Are you kidding right now? Is it just because the baby is small? There's something wrong. I don't know what, but there's something wrong with the baby. Something to where he's not going to have a good life. Who are you? My name is Athelstan. Athelstan was captured by the Northmen. He's lived amongst them. He knows everything about their pagan ways. She has crazy yeah, eyes. She does. Every nine years, yes, they do. I've been told that they make love to whomever they choose, and that the idea of fidelity is utterly strange to them. They have a different morality to us. Is it not more natural? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I would only say that it was different. How boring you are. I was shocked to hear of the death of your brother. You want to influence the destiny of Mercia, and you want to be on the side of the party which succeeds to the crown. I was thinking of sending my son, Aethelwolf, to advise and help you. I would gladly open my gates <coughs> to your handsome son. Uh, <laughs> so, she is interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah.
What are you doing? I know. Why don't you come in? Oh, shit. Do you want to speak to me? No, nah, he just wants to watch. <laughs> That's what he was hoping for. What you want to say? She knows what's up. <laughs> Rid of Sigvard because he was insane, so I killed him. What if you do not let me enjoy you? I shall open your face. Hmm. And then, what would your family do if they had any respect for you? They would have made you go. Dang. Couldn't kill me. The only person you could kill was a dying man. That's how brave you are. Don't fuck with her, man. No, she will cut you down verbally <laughs> and physically. Sooner or later, you have to show him to the world. You can't keep him covered up forever. Oh, oh no. That's right. Oh, this child will never walk. You must, you must put him out to die. Thank you for your good advice. How, how do you but do I that? I'd rather die myself than take it. She's a good mama. I'm done. Already? Already? Oh, damn! We've been... I'm not done. I don't know how I can be of help. She does seem like a lot to handle. <laughs> she's a little nutty, man. Yeah. Told you, she's got those crazy eyes. He's like, I'm done with you. I'm going somewhere to sleep. I will send in some of my warriors to attend your needs. Jeez. Wow. He's like, fuck yes, let's do this. Good luck. <laughs> Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they got multiples. Not just one dude. Oh, shit. It's, it's that kind of party. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. The child should have a name. Not that the gods have saved him. His name is Ivan. I should not talk to you, many do not wish it. I'll probably die in battle. I love you. Aww. Jesus, Kappa Field? What <laughs> yeah. kind of episode is this? Hey, he's going away. He's right. You could die in battle. Damn. There's something wrong with me. Which is why I choose to travel with King Horik. What? Why? There's something about him. He understands the gods better than Rakitar. How dare you? No. I mean the real gods. The darker gods. The gods that haunt me. I don't like that at all. Mm -mm. We're all dealing with something so different from each other. He's got bags under his eyes, he's crying. Ragnar treating you these days. He treats me well enough. We don't worry about it. 
If you decide to build boats for me, I would certainly treat you like a king. You think you can buy me with riches? What I need from you, Floki, are your ideas, for they are worth more than gold and silver. I really don't like Horik at all. Hmm. He is really good, though, at getting people to do his shit. Your friends have returned. One of the ships, I'm told, is flying the Black Raven banner of Ragnar Lothbrok. I hope I can negotiate with Ragnar. When we met before, he struck me as different. Intelligent. He will listen to reason. Horik won't. Nope. Whatever happens, I will not be defeated. Dun, dun, dun. The plot thickens. Where is Torsten going? I sent him to inform the king of our time, so he knows that we are here to talk. Or is not here not to talk. Fight. And you did that without consulting with me? I thought you would both agree, because it is a sensible policy. That's right. Fine, I will. Unfortunately, it is too late to recall Torsten. You should have discussed it with us. Oh, she's not happy either? We'll try to remember that the next time. Well, big stud. <coughs> it's not going to be a next time right now. Unless you agree you will never ever do anything again without consulting with me first. For you and I are not equals. Just kill this fool. King Egbert will send some envoy to trick us. Or he will send some army to annihilate us. You know that's not true, though. That's good one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Ragnar. <laughs> Just don't let Horik near him, because he'll just friggin' ax him out of nowhere. Right. Ragnar Lothbrok, my father, King Eckbert, sends his greetings. He hopes that you will be prepared to talk to him. <laughs> so is that okay? Yeah. I am prepared. My father also sent you this. As a token of his goodwill. Athelstan. This is Athelstan. I gave it to him. And he is alive. Athelstan is waiting to see you at my father's villa. You have his guarantee of safe passage. Then uh, we will all come to your father's villa. What kind of bullshit is Hork gonna pull? What is what is he thinking about? Oh, what? Wait, wait a minute. That hork son right there? It was. Yep. Pulling some bullshit. Weirdo, man. Done fucked it up for everybody. Oh. Oh, King Hork sucks. I, I just. I don't even know what the point is to even have conversations with these folks. I don't know now. That, that means absolutely nothing. Just because. Like, his primary objective is to go there and get revenge. Yeah. That's all he cares about. And that that move right there is probably going to get them into a lot of trouble. It's going to get them killed, I feel like. I mean, although they didn't kill King Egbert's son. No. I but... mean, they still attacked them after coming to an agreement. Right. They basically, they, they had a moment of peace that they were going to talk. But Horik decided he is above everyone. 
He tells Lagatha that they're equal, but then tells Ragnar that they're not equal. And he's the king, he's using his executive order, and decided to, nope, they're not going back home, we're going to attack them. I don't like that at all, because I know Ekberg is, he's smart, but he's clearly in position because he's got Savage in him. There's no question, like, anybody in that position does what they got to do to be king. And now that he's got these alliances, I don't see why they wouldn't go at them full force. Right. Right. I mean, there's nothing left now. Just even, even despite his respect that he has for Ragnar and the fact that he sees that he's got intelligence and that he's different. But now he, it's, it's not like he could be like, yep, it was just King Horik, not Ragnar. Well, Horik will find an opportunity to throw somebody under the bus. 100%. He'll say it was Ragnar's fault that that happened. That was his decision. Like he, that's all that, that he is amazingly spectacular at one, not doing any of the dirty work himself and two, making sure someone else get bl gets blamed for the shit. Yeah. And I don't think this case and this situation is going to be any different. That guy, I really, really, he's turning into a really good villain because he is pissing me off. I don't like his intentions. I don't like the way he handles things. He he's a just he's just a shitty king. He's not a good leader. I really don't feel it. I I, mean, I agree. I agree. He's a hor he's a horrible person. Yeah, his actions are get other people in trouble and that that's not cool at all. And well, I mean, Ragnar, he wants the land. He needs, he wants to feed his people. Like, I still feel like that's his objective. And yes, King Horik is just fucking it all. He's there for vengeance, which is a very, very dangerous motive. Doing anything out of revenge just gets you into trouble. And I think we're going to see it very soon. Yep. I don't have a lot of confidence in, in Horik making the decisions in these scenarios. But... We'll see what happens, obviously. I don't, again, there's more progression towards the I don't like what Floki's doing train. Yes. I really don't like the way he's acting. He's giving these looks to Ragnar. He's making these, like, having these conversations with Horik. And he's like, oh, he understands my gods better than Ragnar does. Yeah, the it's like, dark gods. It's like, ah, uh, no. He's trying to, like, buy him like, and say, I'll treat you like a god or I'll treat you like a king if you make ships for me. Don't like any... I feel like that is Horik's strong suit, is to basically talk people into joining his cause. It's like, fuck you, dude. Well, I mean, he did it with Ragnar originally. Yeah. Like, man, if Ragnar would have just said no. But how do you say no? He's a king. I feel like Ragnar needs to challenge him to, like, a fight. I mean, they're not really in a position to do that right now. No, not at the moment. Because of the whole English situation, but Ragnar's dealing with a lot of shit. The fact that he took his baby out to die, like, that was awful because the legs are deformed. They don't see the baby being able to ever walk, which is just so sad and horrible. But, you know, Aslog, like, being a good mama, she's going to take care of that baby. I mean, how do you... How do you be like, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and take him out. Well, Just, what? Ag again, no. it goes towards their tradition. It's it's how they handle things. And, and, and she's different. She continues to prove, whether good or bad, in this scenario, really good, to be different and going against the grain. Because even Siggy's like, you can't, like, you can't keep this baby. Like, you can't do it. And she's like, tough. I'm going to. It reminds me of that shot in 300 when they throw the baby out. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, it's just, it's it's a savage culture, only the strong survive, and that's kind of how they handle things, and I think it's pretty amazing that she's willing, like, I feel like that's the first action that I've actually liked of hers. Yeah. That, you know, that that's very respectful, that in a time where obviously there's no way of her supporting this child properly because they don't have any medical at all, like, I think it's, it's yeah. says a lot about her character, I think it's... Maybe they can finagle a wheelchair. Something. They'll figure something out, I would imagine. Or she's just going to carry that baby everywhere. Like, How long can you carry the baby, though? Yeah. I, 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 I still think it's a really awesome thing that she, one, saved it, and two, wants to keep it, and even named it. Yeah. Which is really cool. 
but they're all dealing with all kinds of stuff. Loki is very conflicted. He's got a baby on the way. You know, Bjorn is in love. Cop and feels. Yeah. Uh, Rolo is just, you know, he's he's having issues with his woman. You know, Siggy's, you know. Going to King Horik with secrets and, and sex. And being forced onto his son. Like, so he's, he's dealing with shit there. Like, everyone's dealing with stuff. I hope that they can keep focus and put their eye on the prize and work together in this scenario and get out of this okay. Because we'll it's not a good situation. I don't feel good for our folks at all. And, of course, <laughs> Horik's going to get out just fine because he always does. It, yeah, the, the, the bad ones always do. Yeah, and this guy just finds his way to just slither away and just not take blame for anything. He sucks ass. <laughs> do you have any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all. Leave some comments down below. It's going to do it for another episode of Vikings. This show is so dope, so fun, so emotional, hitting on all kinds of emotional strings. It's so crazy. So, yeah, leave them comments, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.